Hey everybody, guess what we're making tonight? Banana bread. I walked past the counter today and I seen these bananas, look at them. That is perfect for banana bread and they are huge bananas. So I said, woo, look at those bananas, it's perfect for banana bread. So, got the cookbook here. Still got plenty of them, I ordered extras. So if you want one, uh, send me a message and I'll tell you how to order it or find the video out there how to order it. This is on page 45, banana bread. So we're just going to use this recipe. Calls for a half a cup of Crisco. I'm just using this Wesson oil. It says a half a cup of Crisco. And this is a real easy recipe, y'all. We're just going to put it right here in this. Whoa, I just dripped it all over my, my brand new recipe book. Look at there. Well, let me wipe this off here. This is going to be the used kitchen copy anyways. But I, I did. I drip, dripped that right on there. Dropped it on there. All right. Now we're going to use a cup of sugar. Let's get a cup of sugar. And we're just going to pour all this right into our mixer here. This is an easy one where you just pour it all in there. One cup of sugar. We're going to put in two eggs. So we got two eggs going in here. There's one. There's two eggs. Three ripe bananas. I'm gonna pull these over here. Scoop my book over a little bit. Just gonna cut these bananas off. Peel them down here. Throw them over in there. All right. Get these little strings off of them. Y'all take them strings off when you cook. <laughs> All right. We're just going to put them bananas right in there, too. Just going to cut this off. And if they got a bad place in it, I just cut it out. This one, see, has got a bad place in it. So I'm gonna cut that out. I don't want that in my bread. All right, stick that in there. And here's the last one, okay? That's three ripe bananas and now two cups of all-purpose flour. Let me get my Where'd my thing go from the sugar? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're gonna get two cups of flour. I got my, my thing sitting right here. All right, one cup. Now this is all purpose flour we're putting in. All right, two cups of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. I don't know what I did with my teaspoons. Oh, Lord. I was not, I guess I was not prepared today. I set them over here. All right, let me grab a teaspoon. Oh, I didn't even set them over there. Okay. One teaspoon of baking soda. I'll put that in here. Hang on a minute. All right, one teaspoon of baking soda, here it goes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing that around. And the last thing to put in is some chopped nuts. So I got a big bag of nuts here from Costco. Look what a big bag of nuts. Y'all, we are gonna be doing some baking this winter. This fall probably, and we starting now, it's only August. So I put some in a bowl and I took this little chopper here and I just chopped them up just a little bit. It calls for a fourth of a cup, but I put a little bit extra. I'm probably putting about a half a cup in there. And you can eat them. They're good. Mm. All right, we're gonna put all this together. And it says to put it in an eight by eight pan. So I'm going to spray the pan. 
I'm spraying it with Baker's Joy. That already has your flour in there so your bread don't stick. All right, I'm gonna dump these nuts in there. And that's it. I'll grab a spatula here. That's all we gotta do. That stuff is mixed up. We're gonna bake it on 350. I got my oven preheated over here. And then that's gonna be it, y'all. It says bake for an hour, but I don't remember that it taken a whole hour to cook. But I'll let y'all know when I take it out. Just gonna stir this up just a little bit more. It looks like it's it's good and stirred up. We're gonna pour it in the pan. Now it called for an eight by eight pan, but this is an eight by six. But we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. Get all that out of there. Y'all, I'm ready for some banana bread. It's still hot as fire outside here. But we're gonna throw this in the oven. And I'm gonna let y'all know when it comes out. All right, y'all. Look here. Just took this little bad boy out of the oven. Don't that look good? Banana nut bread. And it's really, really hot. I don't know if I'll be able to cut it this hot or not. I ended up cooking it about between 45 and 50 minutes. But it got good and crunchy on the outside here. Well, that's kind of how I like it. I'm going to cut a piece out here. Let it get out here to cool off. This is hot. I just pulled it out of the oven. Ooh. See that steam coming up off of there? I don't think I cut all the way through it here. There we go. There we go. Look at that right there. See the steam? You can see the steam coming off of that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. I'm going to go and enjoy this and uh, check out how to order one of these cookbooks. It's got a, just over 200 of my favorite recipes in it. Mm -mm -mm. That's hot, but it's good. Mm -mm. I haven't had banana bread since last fall, but it's that time of year. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. All right, y'all. Share my videos. Thanks.